Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming to our booth today. Uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, streamlining vendor risk assessment with security assessment questionnaire. Last year, we announced the release of security assessment questionnaire, and uh, we made a lot of new improvements to it. I'll cover those as well. And then also uh, explain to you how you can use it to uh, streamline the assessment of your vendors. So how many people here are using vendors to do business today? All right. So my name is Hariyam Singh, uh, Director of Policy Compliance uh, here at Qualys. So again, the very short agenda, you know, uh, what is vendor risk? What are some of the challenges and how we can help with security assessment questionnaire, right? Give you a quick overview of the uh, solution and then uh, talk about some of the recent updates that we have made and then uh, do a brief demo. And uh, for an in-depth demo, we got these eight stations set up here, and I would love to go over that, or any of our booth staff can help you with that as well. So what is vendor risk? So uh, everybody is familiar uh, with the concept of we have an organization, traditional security tools cover. Everybody in your security department is aware that what they need to protect is within this boundary of your own business, right? Now what happens is that as your business is growing, as you're expanding, you're utilizing uh, you know, your business partnerships, right? You may have somebody that's processing remote services or providing remote services to you. You'll, ha you'll be having consultants that's coming in and uh, trying to help you get those projects again done on time. You may have service providers, be it cloud or some uh, outsourcing providers, right? So. From a vendor perspective, uh, you want to uh, make sure that each uh, area where you're connecting or where they're connecting to your uh, environment, there's some security controls around that area, right? Or if you're sharing your data, you know, this could be your trade secrets or it could just be your customer data or any type of business data that say your third party service provider is processing for you. You want to ensure that that data is secure as well, right? Uh, uh, the Verizon Data Beach report in 2016 says third-party compromises were the leading causes of the data breaches, right? And uh, even though we trust our vendors, it's on us, the onus is on us to ensure that they have the control in place and then they don't put your organization at risk. So how do we ma manage this risk, right? So this uh, four-step process, you know, this shouldn't be that... Uh, unfamiliar to you, right? You, it all starts with discovery, right? Qualys has this two second visibility going on. In this case, trying to get the visibilities uh, into the vendor uh, space, like what vendors your, uh, your company is doing business with, you know, you wanna go ahead and start to discover those. And then uh, once you've identified those or established a process in place, you wanna assess them and ensure that you can trust them or you can you know, quantify the uh, risk of doing business with them, right? So let's say you uh, identify a vendor and you assess them and there are some uh, challenges there that you want to work with them. So you would work in the phase of remediation. Say, hey, uh, we would really like to have this uh, controls in place around the data that you're, uh, we're sharing with you. And uh, how much time do you need in order to have those proper controls in place so that data is secure and we can continue to do our business. And then the aspect of uh, ongoing monitoring, right? So if they're secure today, does, does not guarantee that six months down the road or the year down the road or three months down the road, they will continue to be secure, right? And uh, one of the things I wanna point out that a lot of uh, organizations are doing businesses uh, with multitudes of vendors. These are hundreds of vendors, right? And uh, they're able to assess them once when they come on board, but the ongoing uh, monitoring or assessment of those vendors remains a big challenge. So what are some of the challenges uh, when it comes to our vendors? Obviously, we don't have access to their networks, so we can't go scan or implement and uh, provide them baselines and do assessment against those, right? I wanted to look at this from the perspective of people, process, and technology. That's our motto if we want to solve a problem today with the digital transformation going on. We can throw people at it, process, or technology, right? But what are the challenges uh, that we have in the terms looking at the lens of this today? 
So obviously, from the people perspective, right, we have uh, people in our security. We may have one or two people juggling multiple hats. And then you would have like, hey, we need to do uh, business with a particular vendor, and we would assign that task to him. And uh, at the same time, this individual is fi uh, you know, fighting multiple fires. This gets to the uh, list of uh, you know, lower priority, right? And he may throw a few, a few controls together, may send out an email to that person, right? Very unscalable process, right? If you're doing business with uh, maybe 500 vendors, example, you, you cannot have 100 people dedicated. It's not practical to just assess those vendors, right? Then we talk about the process that we have today, right? Uh, a lot of you are, uh, you know, probably using emails and spreadsheets. So, you know, you throw all those questions together that uh, you vetted or you got them from uh, some of the um, best practices out, uh, that are out there. And uh, you put them in an email format, you assign it to somebody, they're emailing it out, and then you're just waiting. And you're emailing the vendor to, uh, you know, provide you an update on that, right? So the process is very manual, and it's also very decentralized, right? So within the organization, you have multiple uh, units that do business with different, uh, di uh, different vendors, and they may have a different set of questions, right? And so again, having all these uh, security best practices and controls in a central location, a repeatable process is very, uh, is very necessary, right? Again, we want to have uh, a central process that's secure and it scales, right? If you have it all centralized, you can scale that process. And let me now talk about some of the challenges with the technologies we have on the market today, right? Uh, there are uh, tools out there that will allow you to do this today, but there are challenges with them, right? Some of the ch tools are very hard to deploy. So you want to have something that is easy to use for the customers, right? And then, uh, you know, uh, and it needs to be accessible, right? Your vendors could be located around the globe today. So it needs, that tool cannot reside in the perimeter, in your perimeter, and, uh, you know, not be accessible to all of your vendors if they're completing your questionnaires, for example. So now let me quickly talk about our cloud-based security assessment questionnaire. So using... Uh, our cl cloud-based security assessment questionnaire, it is uh, a secure and central way uh, delivered through the cloud, allowing you to assess security and compliance posture of your vendor around the globe, right? So we made it easy, so it's ready to uh, use day one. You can get started within uh, minutes, and I'll be demoing uh, that capability here in a minute. So you can easily uh, you know, launch your campaigns, design your templates, track them. As they're responding uh, to the security questions, you can track them in real time. So some of the key benefits of security assessment questionnaires, uh, the big one is cloud-based delivery, right? So you're uh, ready to get started day one. There's nothing to install or deploy in your environment. You do not have to have a security team manning the tool. You can have them as start assessing the vendors immediately. And it also provides a central location for all this data to exist. All the artifacts that you're collecting, they can all uh, be residing in the secure and central location. We also provide a vast template library, so you get the best, uh, best security templates that you do not need to create from scratch. And uh, again, it is very easy to get started, and uh, I'll be demoing that capability. I wanted to kind of uh, show you the kind of uh, templates that we provide. So it, this covers all the popular standards, industry best practices. You know, if you're using cloud service providers, templates from them. We're also including premium content uh, from shared assessment, right? And uh, this can be used as is, or you can tailor it to your own needs. We boil down the uh, vendor risk assessment process to three easy steps. So it all starts with our cloud-based delivery, right? So you're familiar with uh, all of the quality solutions that are provided from the cloud. They're ready to use day one. Same thing, security assessment questionnaires provided from the same platform. You can use the templates out of the box or design, use our visual uh, 
designer to design your uh, templates, launch the campaigns leveraging the built-in workflows, and uh, start monitoring as soon as you launch the campaigns, the reports and dashboards in uh, near real time. So you would ask, how would this uh, SAQ help me with, uh, or what would my streamlined vendor risk assessment may look with Qualys? So going back to the diagram where he started, your vendors could be residing anywhere around the globe, and they would easily be able to access, you'll be able to access them, and they'll be able to uh, uh, access our questionnaires and provide you responses. So I'm going to switch gears and quickly talk about the key features that have we, we've been working on for the past couple of months and what's coming down the road. So we introduced uh, online reports. They, uh, they drastically improve the reporting performance, provide you an online preview so you can quickly get to the data that you need to. So you know you can filter the responses based on the criticality of the question, or the weightage of the score to come, and then uh, in real time, edit that, and once you're, the data is to up to, uh, the reports are the way that you would want to see them, you can uh, quickly download them. Another feature is the email customization, right? So as you're sending out these campaign notifications automatically, you can customize the content, utilize your own logos, use personalized uh, you know, instructions within the email template before you send this out. So this greatly helps our customers tailor the message to the vendors that they're assessing. We're, uh, we're introducing risk scoring here at the end of February. It's a two-phased approach. The first phase, we're gonna allow you to uh, define the criticality of the questions, right? What questions are important? for what vendors and also allow you to set the weights for their on answer options, right? And then as you're uh, processing the reports, you'd be able to, uh, you know, again, filter based on the criticality of the questions or the weights of those answers. And in phase two, based on, uh, you know, conversation with you guys and other customers, we were able to introduce some risk scoring and then leverage that uh, to drive risk-based workflows. I'm going to exit out of uh, this real quick and give you a quick demo of our product. So as you can see, I'm long, uh, logged into the Qualys Cloud Platform. And from the same Qualys Cloud Platform, we, you have access to uh, 12 solutions. And I'm going to, uh, once it lets me, go to the security assessment questionnaire. And this puts me into the dashboard for security assessment questionnaire. So, <laughs> all right, the Wi-Fi is really slow here. Uh, I promise it's much faster in real life. Uh, uh, So while this is coming up, uh, I'm going to just try it with another window here. So I should have made my default page to uh, security assessment questionnaire. All right, the first window loaded. So this is the dashboard for security assessment questionnaire. As you can see, I can actively track my campaigns to the left. And over here, as the uh, respondents start to uh, respond to your questions and attach evidence, you can easily be tracking their user activity. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just select one of these campaigns here. And and kind of show you really quick, like as, uh, as this individual is responding to the questions, uh, you know, we're capturing this data in real time. On their side, they do not need to click save after every, every single uh, response, or we don't, we're streaming them live, essentially. 
So right from the dashboard, you can get started uh, assessing your vendors by launching a campaign. So I'm going to show you that process right now. Uh, I'll give it a name, select a due date when uh, by the time I want these people to respond by, and then uh, select my template. So this is, uh, you're looking at templates right out of our library. We have them classified based on different criteria. So let's say if I'm doing a vendor risk assessment, I have four vendor risk assessment templates here. I can simply pick one and, uh, you know, so let's say continue here. And then once I've selected my template, now I can uh, select a workflow that I need. So I can do a simple workflow or do a reviewable where somebody provides a response and it goes to your security team for review. And based on the review, the uh, uh, campaign uh, progresses to the next stage or do a full, uh, full four stage. So if I select a four stage workflow, I would uh, provide a reviewer, for example. And then uh, also an approver. So when the reviewer is done, we will have some approver that signs up on the entire uh, uh, campaign. And once I hit continue, I have the opportunity to add recipients. So this is very key, right? You'd be onboarding a numerous vendors, and uh, you want to have a way to uh, quickly bring them on board. And uh, to do that, obviously, if you use them in the past, you can select them from the list or simply choose an option to create a user. If you'd like, you can manually enter those fields or import them uh, via CSV file if you have that information. So if you're in a large, en uh, large environment, let's say you're trying to assess the internal uh, security and audit risk, uh, you could uh, get a CSV file from your Active Directory, right? In this case, I'm going to go ahead and search for a particular vendor here. E security select uh, the people that I want to uh, send this questionnaire out to. Add those users and hit continue and finish. At this point, it is going to go ahead and create that campaign and make it available uh, to uh, launch. And I can launch it by simply sending this email to all. And this is where I was showing we allowed you to uh, edit this message, uh, you know, allowing you to. Uh, Hide the logo, add your own logo, customize this, uh, any text here, insert any links to your own policies, and uh, you know, use any of these personalization codes. Uh, and then uh, once you're satisfied with this uh, message, you can uh, you know, hit send. At this point, all of your vendors have received this notification, and the people that are uh, coming on board for the first time receive a one-time uh, token to set their credentials, set up their credentials. I'm going to go back real quick and uh, show you uh, what the reporting aspects look like. So here's a campaign that previously we were looking at. Uh, you know, I drilled down into it and I wanted to go, go look at the report. So when I bring up this report, it just opens up in, in a new window here. I get some graphs. And uh, within these graphs, uh, if I did wanted to show or filter it uh, for any purpose, I can go edit the report here and you know ch change change the settings or the filters that I wanted to see or not. And when I'm happy with the report, I can uh, download it in any of these formats uh, that I'd like. So you know, perhaps a CSV or a PDF file, and uh, you know, send it to your internal department, uh, save it as an artifact or what have you. So use, uh, utilizing security assessment questionnaire, you can easily streamline your, uh, the risk that uh, you have from your vendors. Uh, it's a cloud-based delivery, as you uh, just saw, that it can be started in minutes, provided it loads really fast, right? And uh, we have a rich template library with premium content from shared assessment. So who's here using shared assessment? Anybody familiar with shared assessment? They're an industry standard for vendor risk assessment, and that content is available right out of the box with SAQ. And uh, continuously monitor that risk from your vendors so you know they do not pose a risk to your organization. With that, thank you so much. Thank you all for attending. If you want more in-depth demos, 
my, myself or some of the other boot staff would be happy to help you.